and it's Friday, January 25th, and must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. Uh, got a little excited last week, jumped the curb. Chip is very excited that session is starting. Yes. Yeah, can you tell? Um, so uh, uh, it's not time to send an action alert yet. They're not back yet, so postpone that a week. We'll be back with you next Friday when we release this video. We'll have the action alert up to welcome back the new House members and the old House and uh, Senate members, the new Senate members, uh, to make sure that you're connecting with them uh, as they're back in town, getting ready for work. Just a great first touch and a first introduction yes. to them and what you do in your profession That's to start right. off session. That's right. Because remember, this is all about relationships. We talked about this so many times. This is not a you know one time send a message in and they do exactly what you want them to do. We want you to get into a regular conversation with them so they know they can trust you. You have. A, a conduit to get in when uh, something is being decided in short term instead of you're on a list of names that have been calling during a very busy time. Uh, we want your name recognized. This by is your, a great first step. That's right. This is setting us up for success. Yeah. yeah. Um, schedules, right? So we come back next Wednesday. Um, we're going to have, uh, I'd say, a couple weeks of just kind of introducing bills. Probably not a lot of committee meetings, but again, perfect time to roll up in here and actually catch your legislator and get to spend some time sitting in the office before they're racing around the legislature. Before time. committee schedules get really crazy, yeah. and bill filing gets rolling, and they're still kind of settling into office space right now. So That's it's right. a really great time within the next month or so to get in and visit them. That's right. Uh, since we talked with you last, uh, we had a specialty summit here last weekend. Great attendance. We had actually the room we're in right now. Uh, full of physicians and executive directors from across all the different specialties uh, here in the state of North Carolina. And what a great conversation. Uh, this is something we haven't done every single year, probably something we should do every single year, uh, because the feedback was just amazing. So uh, one thing that we heard was that uh, everybody liked hearing what everybody else was concerned about, right? Uh, primary care liked hearing what specialty. Various subspecialties liked hearing what pediatrician. Everybody was uh, curious about what others were worried about. Uh, one thing that I thought was really interesting was Dr. Kitty Gordon. Uh, she's an eye uh, physician, uh, was talking about the struggle they had on scope of practice last year and how they were surprised by what the optometrists had um, introduced. That They couldn't even believe that the legislature would pass something like that. And what an interesting concept, because we, uh, we talked with a lot of people about uh, scope of practice and about problems all the time, but that's just not something I had put together uh, in my head was that, that sometimes our, our doctors just wouldn't even imagine that the legislature would do something like that. Another meaningful thing that she said was that uh, all the physicians came together as a team, yes. right? And so she was thinking all the specialties and all the physicians across the state that really helped come together on this issue That's and right. how thankful she was for that support and she hoped to give that support to other specialty issues as well. Yeah, and she wasn't the only one. I mean, we heard that from internal medicine. We heard that from dermatology, from OB, from uh, all different specialties, not just the eye physicians, but they just put an exclamation point on it because of the struggle that they've been through uh, defending their patients in the last couple of years and probably getting ready to do that all over again this year. Yeah. That's right. Uh, we also had a number of counties represented. Uh, Wake County had a delegate, Alamance, uh, Western North Carolina Medical Society had a physician here. Yes, and he uh, spoke about the importance of White Coat Wednesday. So again, if you have not registered for White Coat Wednesday, uh, please do so. The Western Carolina uh, Medical Society is actually right. going to be here next week with yep. their representation. Um, so we're really excited that they're going to kick off session for us with uh, Dr. Reeder, yep. our, our president. Our president. Yep. So I think we're going to have a great first day. We'd love to have you on another day. If Wednesday doesn't work for you, we're happy to have you on something other than a White Coat Wednesday. Come on a Tuesday or Thursday. That would be great. Just reach out to Sue Ann or I or somebody here at the Medical Society and let's figure that out with you because we would love to have you here in Raleigh so you can have a, a better perspective, so you can build on that relationship like we're talking about uh, and keep the conversation open between you and your local legislators. And don't forget you could also be Doctor of the Day as That's well right. in addition to participating in White Coat Wednesday. That's right. All you have to do is reach out to the Speaker of the House office to do that. All right, so that's kind of an update of where we are. It's still kind of slow, like I said, because we're not into the real business, but we'll be there next week. Uh, so hopefully next week we'll have a better idea of what we think the schedule overall, when we're really going to get busy. Uh, we'll be highlighting some uh, opportunities for you to come in for White Coat Wednesdays to really focus in on certain topics, and on certain Wednesdays, and committee well. assignments. 
Uh, and then also, like I said, introducing you to using Muster again, getting you used to that so we can use that as a platform for communicating with legislators. So we hope you have a great weekend and look forward to talking to you next week.